Hello there, brother, and welcome to another episode of Oven Mania, dude. We're gonna run wild all over this new Tombstone Roadhouse Pizza piled high pepperoni, brother, when I took Andre the Giant and I slammed him down in front of 25 million Hulkamaniacs. So, a brand new version of the Tombstone Pizzas. I, I actually am a big fan of Tombstone Pizzas. They are much better than I would normally give credit to something that just, it looks like it's packed cheaply. I guess I would say, because it's just, it's just the way it is. It's not in a box, you know, it's just basically wrapped and it's just got a cardboard backing. So, growing up I always thought, oh, wow, those don't like a good quality pizza, but they are really good quality pizzas for something you shove in the oven for like 20 minutes. That's what I tell Lori all the time, too. I shove it in her oven. So, uh, this one has premium pepperoni and 100%, oh god, it's switched. 100% real mozzarella cheese on a crispy thin crust. Pepperoni made with pork and chicken and beef. Okay, so let's try it out. You saw a picture of what the final product looked like, and uh, this is what it looks like sitting on my cheap paper paper plate. So you can't really see it. All right, it's really hot, but uh, I'm gonna do it for you guys. Time to burn my mouth, here we go. They really did stack a lot of ingredients on this. I feel like this has come about because of like, I can't remember if it was the Screamin' Italian pizzas, but there's a bunch of gimmick pizzas out now. All of a sudden, the frozen food pizza market is just like booming like crazy at Walmart and Target. And a lot of them are like pretty cheap. Like you can get a nice pizza for under 10 bucks and I'm, you know, you, you could get a nice pizza from like Pizza Hut, Tour Domino's, Papa John's, whatever. But I feel like these are just convenient. I don't have to call anybody, I don't have to go pick anything up. You know, just when I'm at the market, you grab it, you can throw it in your freezer for whatever. But they're starting to compete, in my opinion, with a lot of the fast food pizza places. There's just a lot of crap <laughs> stacked on this pizza, and it's delicious. There was just pepperoni galore, but wow, the texture of the pizza is really good too. A lot of times when you get these, these frozen pizzas, and you put them in the oven for 20 minutes, whatever it is, they come out, and the ingredients are falling off, or the texture of the crust is just, it's kind of like slimy or grimy. It's, just, it's not really solid like you would expect from uh, fast food pizza, I just spit all over my desk right there. This one holds up though, really well. Like, if somebody got this and did not tell me where they got the pizza, say like they made it, didn't tell me where they got the pizza from, I would not assume that this is a frozen pizza. That's how good this tastes. Perfect amount of cheese, obnoxious amount of pepperonis that are on this thing. They stacked it to hell and back. And I think this is only about, it was like $6 or something, it's cheap. It is a cheap pizza. Easy to make, delicious, and dare I say, probably one of my favorite uh, frozen pizzas I've ever had. I would rate this a very high five out of five. This is delish. If I had to have a problem with it, I guess I would just say that uh, maybe a little more cheese. I said perfect amount of cheese, now I'm, I'm starting to regret it. I'm starting to regret life decisions. Maybe a little more cheese. It's very nitpicky, but I just think overall, this is a delicious pizza. It's really good stuff, so try out. The new Tombstone Pizza, I got this at Walmart, I believe. And overall, do you like Tombstone Pizzas? What is your favorite frozen pizza, though? Because there's so many of them out there right now. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe we'll try it out. We'll see you on the next episode.